important it is for healthcare workers to actually receive testing. Today we have a high-risk uh, healthcare worker in a hospital setting uh, who now uh, has developed fever uh, and, and cough over the past two days uh, and presents in now pretty much sure that they know they need COVID testing and uh, we're here to perform uh, that procedure. We're all at risk, including my staff, but we want to make sure that even though we are at risk, that we actually get tested ourselves if there's any signs of possible infection associated with the COVID-19 virus as per CDC guidelines. And if you're unsure, then you ask one of us, which means a provider or an outside counsel, so you're not self-diagnosing and you're not telling yourself, I'm okay. Again, we're here uh, with a high-risk healthcare worker with uh, multiple um, indications for CDC classification of testing for the COVID virus. Rami here works at an acute care hospital. There, there have been quite a few people that's been ill at the hospital. Uh, Rami, what do you do at the hospital? I'm a CNA. Um, I work with patients um, face to face. I mean, they're being coughing right now. Uh, we have patients uh, that are there with less cough, less cough, but uh, there's a lockdown. We been um, temperature checked. We've been asked to wash our hands, to sanitize our hands, um, stay three feet away. We have a patient that is sick or or ill that we see them there. Is, is it true that you, you got sick after you? After you, I had my patient on Tuesday. You got sick right yes, after. Yes, Tuesday my patient started with a cough, and then I started with the cough on Tuesday. But I've been I've been checking my temperature. I didn't have no temperature until today. Today, yeah. uh, sounds good. And you say the hospital is uh, on lockdown for yes. as well? Yes, no visitors, no nothing. Okay. Now we're going to proceed with the COVID nineteen testing. Uh, yeah. Are we going to open the package? Just to demonstrate the test, it is a it is a nasal swab testing, of which I'm going to just swab the back of your nose, uh, and then that's all that's to it. Okay. I'm gonna have it just like that. And I go here, a little bit closer, and I have my eight and a half and then I'm gonna do a good swab uh, and back. Okay. That's all to it. I'm going to ask you now to sit up for me, Rami, please. Now, um, I, at this point, um, we're going to quarantine you for approximately four days. How long has it been taking the test to come back? It may take a little longer. We will notify you that the results are here. Uh, but you'll be off work until that time. It is very important that healthcare workers with any symptoms, any symptoms or any cough, following an acutely uh, ill patient, uh, be checked out uh, if they have evidence of, um, of cough and or fever. And do not take this virus as it could be a cough, cold, fever associated with a flu. You must be checked if you have any symptoms associated with the COVID virus especially if you're a healthcare worker.